What's going on guys? It's your boy WF and today's video will be taken from a stream that I had earlier in the day. If you don't know guys, yes, I do stream. The link should be, you know, floating above twitch.tv slash WFCOLONEL56. I stream Madden and I stream other games as well. But more importantly, the, um, this video is talking about how to use your formations on offense to control space which can in turn give you free yardage in a way. It's something that no one actually teaches in Madden and I don't, I don't know why. So I kind of went in on like a little rant kind of explaining it. It's um, explained in its most base form, but it's still packed with a lot of value that you can get from it. So go ahead, check that out. It's pretty long, so I'm probably gonna break it open into two pieces. So this will be the first part and um, I'll probably do a part two uh, tomorrow let's really talk about formations now I'm sick and tired of people saying there are bad formations in the game so there are some formations that may not have certain routes but each formation is designed to do something particular like for example just in the very let's look the very big the core of this iPhone wing formation people say iPhone wings and big formations like this suck they, they always have said they suck Unless it was like a high power, like fullback dive game like Madden 09. People have always said formations like this have sucked. But the big, in the big scheme of things, the thesis of this formation is you got personnel on the field to establish the run, which will get the defense out of a two high look into a single high look, which will give your outside receiver one on one coverage. And once you establish that you have that, that uh, one on one coverage, and then in turn, you have to be able to, to utilize that receiver to, you know, make them pay for, for you know, stacking the box in the run. Which in turn, it's a, it's a, it's a chess match of, okay, do you want to, you know, double this outside guy now because you've been getting burnt? If you do that, you've, you know, relaxed a bit on the run, which gives me more room to run the ball. That's the thesis of, you know, big formations in general. But in particular, like, just a quick overview of what you want to do from our form wing. But... People don't understand, and even Madden, quote unquote, Madden pros don't understand it. It comes down to creating space, comes down to leverage. I don't know if they don't understand it or they just don't teach it. Because I know some people actually do understand it, but you see these ebooks, they're never actually talking about it in these ebooks at all. They just give you the plays and just say, hey, go have fun. But they never actually talk about the actual science behind Madden. I mean, and the grand scheme of things, Madden isn't a math game. It's not a science game. Football in general is, but in Madden, you can, Madden, you can get away with, you know, just running quote unquote Madden plays, and Madden schemes. But the more you understand the actual game of football and you understand the, the geometry behind football, the easier it is to actually play Madden. Just like, for example, like, I'm just, I'm just gonna go over like the base principles of like creating space and leverage and how they affect the game just real quick, quick, quick overview. The easiest way to do it is to like break down like the the, the basics of spread offense, because the spread offense is the easiest way to to uh, you know to show it. I'm not actually gonna run a play, but I'm just gonna just show you just um just how the math works just on paper. And come out in just like a dime, dime temp two whatever. Um, now like. I'm just gonna say this up front. Every single year, the game plays differently. Like all of these concepts that I'm gonna show you actually work every single year, but the degree of which they work may change throughout the years. Like, just for example, with Madden 19, for the last like couple Madden games with like the uh then taking out the ability to, like to actually affect the game with user catching that kind of hurts you know some principles in this and then some years the run will be harder some years you know what people will be able to like cover you know enormous ground with certain players it just like all the concepts work but it just changes how they you know made the game but everything works let's just say um okay let's just start out like this. this is the best way to teach it right Hypothetically, let's just say the offense comes out in a spread formation, single back spread, right? The defense just comes out in a blank slate. 
don't think of any player on the field of having a position. Think of like the defense of just being blank X's, the offense being blank O's. Don't think about positions. Think about spacing. That's the best way I can actually like break this down for you in the shortest way possible. So, um, yeah, a regular formation that a defense comes out, they may say, okay, I want four down linemen. That's, it all starts with, do I want four down linemen? Okay, yeah, okay, from that you'll get like four threes, dime, nickel. Nickel normal, four three, any other four three formations or like you know, any of like the regular nickel or regular down formations. That's what you'll get when you say, okay, at the defense, I want four, four down linemen. This is what you get. Now, from this look, here's what the offense says. Okay, I want to come out in a formation which affects the defense, which puts stress on the defense. So they'll come out and like, let's say a single back spread, which is on the field. From this look right here, both slots are uncovered. Which is, you know, the deep the offense putting stress on the defense and the defense having to react. Let's say they haven't reacted, and this is what they come out in. Both slots are uncovered. Now I have the ability to say, okay, both slots are uncovered. I could throw them uncovered, get a block on my outside receivers, and you know, have that, you know, a free five yards before anything happens. I'm, I've won this possession just based off of the spacing that my formation creates and the leverage my players have on the defense. Now, that is very common. That's pretty much what you'll see in college football. Everything I'm explaining, I'm going to explain is, you know, it's you'll see it on Saturdays more than you see it on Sundays because that's the entire college football is built around the basic core concepts of the spread offense. It's built around, you know, creating space with your formations and then, you know, playing off of what leverage your offensive players have on their defensive players. So the defense comes out and just, okay, they, they didn't adjust this formation. The offense has both slots uncovered. They can throw them the ball for, you know, an easy game. Like just for an example, let's say they are, they're uncovered like this. Something like that. Quick replay just so you know, you can actually see it and kind of understand it a little bit more. Both slots are uncovered. You can quick throw to the flats. That's the advantage that, you're, that you have on the defense based off of formation and the space that your formation creates. And the defense now has to actually adjust. Now, you can do it to the left and the right from this look. Now, the defense may be saying, okay, dang, I'm giving up that uncovered throw to the slot receiver because I don't have anybody covering him. Now, here's what they might, here's what they, they're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna slide this guy out. I'm gonna cover him up now. Now they can't throw that. But guess what? These still have the uncovered guy to the other side of the field. Dang, you didn't stop anything from that. They still have that available to them. I'm gonna move this guy out. Now I'm covering up both. Ha ha, I got you now. You can't throw that uncovered look now. But look what you did on, as far as the defense perspective. You've taken both of those guys out of the box. You have, just in this example, you have one, two, three, four, five people in the box versus a lineman, my, my left, left tackle, left guard, center, right tackle, right guard, five versus five. Now, you've heard that, I hope you've heard the term, if he's even, he's leaving. That's a term people use in the past game if you have a fast receiver against a cornerback, because if my guy's even with you, he's gonna leave you in the dirt and, and dust by you for that long throw for the touchdown. The same thing is, the same principle applies in the run game. Now, if you have the right run concept called, and if you as the actual user controller rusher run it correctly, you will have a solid game. Now, not, that's not saying you're gonna hit your head on the goalpost for a touchdown, but you you should have won the run play and got solid yardage. 
that's what this that's what you have to deal with with this now I'm not gonna run the ball but you can see okay if I run a dive I have numbers in the box now for it to be set up for me to be successful so what's the defense do now if I leave you guys uncovered and and I have my guys in the box yeah I'm good against the run game I'm strong in the run game but you can throw uncovered but if I move my guys out of the box and cover up your receivers I have a weak box I can't do nothing you have the advantage in the run game what am I supposed to do the defense now says okay we gotta figure this out either they can do something like this keep an extra guy in the box so now the defense actually is one up on the offense as far as box you know in the run game and they can move a safety down like they can do this like forget about the actual defensive call like that doesn't make any difference right now I'm just talking about space leverage that's what I'm talking about right now you can go through this look or you know you can leave you can move him in here and kick him out same look same space that's being taken up it's taken up it's, everything's the same it's just what personnel was where as far as space it's all the same so this is where this look comes the I guess traditional look you get from cover three guess what you have now yeah just you, you now you've covered all the boxes of you've covered up both receivers you've, you've checked the box of I still am stout in the run game I have enough guys in the box to defend the run properly but what have you done you now have created a situation where both outside receivers X and B are one on one with their respective corners now it doesn't matter if he's pressed or backed off doesn't matter he's one on one and you know he's one on one because of the alignment he has no help there is no help from the safe the safety can't get over and make a play he's in the middle of the field it really doesn't matter what he's in he can be in a deep half to the left or the right he's not going to be able to effectively help out so you know he's my outside guys are one-on-one -on -one. now again each, each year, each game of Madden has its own thing. Some things are more effective, some things aren't as effective. Now, in like Madden 17, 18, and 19, in the years where you, like you really can't, you know, get jiggy and pull off these super, you know, user catches on the outside, you may not be able to get, you know, these streaks and fades off. Or in the years past, you could, you could. In the years past. You could be one on one, have a streak or a fade, uh, throw the fade, and like use your uh, use your stick skills, undercut the ball, make the catch, secure the bag for the first down or the touchdown. You can't really do that as much, you know, these more animation driven games. Now that's like the you know the push the push pull. Each game will have something it's good at. Each game it won't. Now this you can still take advantage of this this knowledge with you know these animation driven games but you, you just have to understand how to do it because like i said with the with like the weak box it'll the the effectiveness will change year to year based on how the game's made with the throws to the uncovered receivers the value of it will change based on how the game is made year to year the throws on the outside one-on-ones the value will change based on how the game is made every single year but each of the core concepts of controlling space and controlling leverage actually works and it also isn't just something that um benefits the offense it benefits the defense to know these things as well that's where baiting and all these other types of things can uh can come into play for the defensive benefit as well but just on the very core concept that's how it's done now you can get tricky just like okay I'm gonna cover two right just, just for an example you can bait 
you can bait an, un an uncovered throw. Now, what I used to do, this is just me, when I noticed people were using some of these principles in their own gameplay on offense, I would I would set up the play to be as you know as amazing of a look pre-snap to get you to throw uncovered. But at the same time, I could have like a hard flat to the outside. But I want I want you to I want to look pre-snap that like man, I'm really giving you everything you're looking for. So just this is something that you could do like to bait the uncovered throw. Reed is still, you know, in position to cover that outside guy. He's not in bad position whatsoever. You would have to use a cover A with this guy if he goes vertical and just cover all of that ground. But you've set up a situation where it just looks so amazing to throw uncovered because it looks it, the offensive player doesn't see the defensive play. They just see all that all that space to the outside. And so like they may get happy and just, you know, throw it. I know like it got swatted by, by the linebacker or whoever. Or like he's actually a a corner, but by the guy that's right here. But you set up a situation where like you made it so delectable to take this easy yardage. Let's say he's just out of the picture. He's in a hard flat. So you can bait this. So it comes down to, you know, once you understand the core concepts on offense, it's easy yardage once you understand what you're doing. And on defense, once you understand the concepts, you can use that and flip it on its head against offensive players. And you can use it, you know, based on, you know, time in the game, like the, the importance of a possession, you know, just the way, you know, the game plays out. So just understanding this information. I don't understand why no one actually teaches how to control space and control leverage in Madden. It's a basic concept that just changes the game, period.